Holes are produced on punch presses by a ram pushing a punch through the workpiece, forcing the resulting metal slug through the mating die. The punch press ram is powered in one of three ways, either manual, mechanical, or hydraulic. A manual punch press is equipped with a long lever that converts the force applied by a worker to the force necessary to punch the workpiece. This force is usually limited to about four tons. Mechanical punch presses transfer flywheel energy to the ram by gears, cranks, or eccentrics to perform the punching operation. A hydraulic punch press develops punching forces by applying fluid pressure on a piston and utilizing pumps, valves, intensifiers, and accumulators. The hydraulic-powered presses are capable of maintaining full force throughout the stroke length. Punching forces for mechanical and hydraulic punch presses range from about 8 to 60 tons. Other presses designed for heavy plate and structural steel produce over 150 tons of punching force. Punch press frames are either a C-frame configuration or a bridge frame design. The most popular punch press design is the C-frame. It has clamps located on either the front or the back of the press table that grip and position the workpiece. The bridge frame design, which is supported on both ends, minimizes the deflection that occurs on the C-frame press as a result of the uneven opposing forces pushing the upper and lower portions of the C-frame. C-frame and bridge frame punch presses locate the workpiece in two directions the X and Y axes for positioning under the punch. The X axis indicates the workpiece length, while the Y axis designates the workpiece width. However, some bridge frame presses position the workpiece in the X axis and move the punch position in the Y axis.